Fast information gets criminals off the streets. We're using never before seen technology to strengthen our law enforcement. To help with communications, and to keep our community safe. My name is Philip Simmers, and I'm the CODIS DNA Unit Database Manager at the State Police Crime Laboratory in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. And I'm here with Dr. Joni Bracado and Major Todd Morris to discuss Louisiana's rapid DNA implementation into a booking facility. Hi, I'm Joni Bracado. I'm the former um, DNA Manager at the Louisiana State Police Crime Lab. I'm Todd Morris. I'm a major at the East Baton Rouge Parish Sheriff's Office. I'm over at Crimes Against Persons and Special Operations. Louisiana has been involved with rapid DNA implementation for several years now, and we've been meeting uh, with the FBI over the course of this period to try to lay the groundwork for incorporating rapid DNA into our DNA collection workflow. Early on, we realized we were going to need a law enforcement partner in order to complete this process, and so we reached out to the East Baton Rouge Parish Sheriff's Office, and they've been partnering with us for several years now in order to realize this vision. Back in 2019, they were our agency uh, who worked with us on the Rapid DNA Pilot Implementation Committee uh, by the FBI, and that was a huge success for us and for, for them as well. And so they've been great in facilitating you know, this vision that LSP has had for several years um, and bringing it to fruition. The East Baton Rouge Parish Sheriff's Office and Louisiana State Police Crime Lab have been partners for years. Um, I've had DNA analysts at the crime lab for 11 years now through an MOU. And so we're really poised to work with the Louisiana State Police Crime Lab to further this opportunity to look at rapid DNA. As we looked at the DNA process that we had in place, we had improved the process as much as we can. We had looked at the efficiencies of the lab, we had looked at the processes of the lab, but we could still see gaps in the process, right? We could still see samples being missed in the process. We could still see the difficulty that we were having. Samples would have long lag times in just making it to the laboratory. And so we really saw this as an opportunity to really improve the process, try and close some of those gaps, right? The potential to actually be able to test an individual while they were still in custody really uh, showed us that this was something that we wanted to pursue and that could really impact law enforcement, close those gaps, increase the response time. When we first started discussion rapid DNA, we saw the benefits of this new technology being able to enhance um, having a profile at the time of booking to run against unsolved crimes that were already in the CODIS data bank on individuals that hadn't entered the system yet. So from a safety perspective in our community, we said, man, this is cutting edge technology. This is really gonna be awesome to be able to have a person being swapped at the time of booking that run in the CODIS and then hit to an unsolved crime and before that individual has the time to bond out and get out. So the Sheriff's Office and Sheriff Gotro was extremely excited about this when we understood this program and how this is going to help our society and help the community feel safer to get this individual off the streets at the time of booking before ever leaving our booking facility. Hi, I'm Sid Gotro, Sheriff of East Baton Rouge Parish here in the great state of Louisiana in the great city of Baton Rouge, Louisiana. The Sheriff's Office has been in existence here for over 200 years. Uh, we have gone through many changes over the, over the past years, but our objective is public safety. We want to prevent crimes before they ever happen. We want to solve crimes when they do happen. We want to give closure to the families, and we want to make sure we're taking a dangerous criminal off the street. At the Crime Laboratory, uh, we track all of the codices that we obtain, and we periodically send out reports to our law enforcement agencies um, asking for status updates. And what we find is that there are often times where our law enforcement partners are having difficulty locating these individuals after codices have been attain obtained. And that's because the hits aren't obtained until months after these individuals have gotten out of jail. With rapid DNA uh, in being implemented in our state, you know, we're hopeful that we'll start seeing the, the time frame from uh, arrest to CODIS hit be a matter of hours instead of a matter of weeks and crimes be solved much faster while these offenders are still in custody. It was huge for us to be able to see how they've closed the gap now 
with rapid DNA because we did have missed collects at the time of booking. You know, I would get an email that say, hey, you have these missed collections in the, in the queue. Has that person bought it out yet? And it was, you know, it was just a kind of a glitch in the system that allowed you to bypass the DNA at the time of collection for various reasons. So now with rapid, it has closed that loophole now. You know, we're sure to minimize the amount of missed collects because it won't let you bypass that process. Now you have to collect the DNA before moving on to the next stage of the booking process. And, uh, you know, the, the ability for us to swab a suspect and within uh, uh, 90 minutes get the information back as if they, we either can connect them to the crime or we can clear them from the crime based on that rapid DNA technology. Uh, the speed and efficiency of this is just unbelievable. If any uh, states are looking to bring a rapid DNA program online, uh, early collaboration is key. It's very important to have conversations with um, law enforcement agencies, with uh, your live scan vendor, and with rapid DNA instrument vendors because it's going to take uh, co significant contributions from all those parties. We started a violent crime unit several years ago and it actually brought all the agencies together both on the f uh, federal level, the state level, and the local level. And we're all housed at the state police headquarters. We've been there for years. So the violent crimes, homicides can all be investigated through that uh, media and we get information to each other as, as we get it. It's, it's real time in that sense. But it, we work very closely with the uh, State Police Crime Lab. In the future, um, as the RAP DNA program become, becomes more and more um, implemented, uh, we're going to hopefully get to a point where we no longer need to process the state sample that's submitted to the crime laboratory. Once we get to a part where we have several booking stations online sending us rapid DNA samples from throughout the state, that's going to save us resources at the lab, preventing us from having to run those second swabs. And one thing I'm really excited about today is to be able to show you how the DNA process is embedded into our booking facility now. And I'll be able to bring you to the parish prison, show you the rapid DNA instrument, and how our booking process works on a prisoner that we're going to process and show you the rapid instrument. This is our booking facility where everyone that is arrested in East Baton Rouge Parish is brought here and processed in and housed until their court date. As we enter into the booking area, you can see the, the rapid hit ID as well as our APHIS automated fingerprint identification system, which every a booking agency in Louisiana utilizes, and they're synced to Louisiana State Police uh, CJICs, and so the information is shared, and automatically we will know when an arrestee is brought here whether his DNA is on file and it's a collectible offense. Here in just a few minutes, we have a suspect who has been arrested. It's going to be brought in to show you how the rapid system is integrated with the APHIS booking process and show you how we collect the DNA, which will be run here on the rapid hit instrument. When an arrestee is arrested for a qualifying offense, the officers will bring him to the prison for processing. And when he is brought into the facility, he will be brought to the live scan terminal where his demographics are collected. And he will have a full set of fingerprints taken, which includes um, obviously the five fingers, the palms, the writing prints, and these are submitted to APHIS for identity verification. If the arrestee was, a, was arrested for a qualifying charge, his qualifying charge status is checked against CCH, which is our computerized criminal history database. His entry in CCH is also checked to see if he has a DNA sample on file with the state. If he does not have a DNA sample on file, the deputy will be prompted to collect a DNA sample for submission to the state crime laboratory, as well as an additional sample, which will be processed on the rapid DNA instrument. Now that the rapid DNA uh, instrument has been integrated into the arrestee collection workflow, the process for notification of a co potential CODIS hit has been shortened from from weeks to potentially hours. Once a DNA sample is taken at the booking facility for the purpose of working on the rapid DNA instrument, the profile is generated within two hours and searched in the CODIS database automatically against the DNA index of special concern, which consists of profiles that are uh, from unsolved high priority cases. If a hit is obtained to one of these profiles from the booking facility, a unsolicited DNA notification is automatically forwarded to both the investigating agency and the booking agency containing 
the information um, about the case file itself, about the specific evidence, as well as information regarding, to lo regarding the location of the offender and contact information for both agencies so that the hit can be resolved in a much uh, shorter amount of time. You have now seen our booking process with our APHIS Live Scan system implemented with our Rapid Hit ID system. You see how quickly that this integrated process works and within 90 minutes now we will get a hit confirmation whether the arrestee is going to hit to an unsolved crime or not. The benefits of having him here during the booking station at this time is huge for law enforcement. We're excited about this program. Anything that we can do at the East Baton Parish Sheriff's Office to help you implement a program, have any questions, feel free to contact us here. We think this is great technology. It's going to only benefit law enforcement and the community.